Welcome. In this video, I will show you how to import assets into your project from the Unity Assets Store. There are plenty of free assets on this store, including 3D models, sounds, shaders, tools, and even complete working projects. And these can be an invaluable resource if you are just starting out in Unity. I would encourage you to explore and experiment with the store's free assets, the example projects in particular. It's a great way to develop your knowledge of how Unity works. It's also fun to grab 3D models off the asset store and use them to quickly construct your own scenes. Particularly if, like me, you lack the 3D modeling skills to create those assets yourself. Anyway, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download a simple 3D model from the asset store and import it into your Unity scene. I have a specific project into which I want to import a 3D model from the asset store. If you also have a specific project in mind, it's a good idea to open that project in Unity before heading over to the Asset Store. If you have completed my Get Started with Oculus Quest 2 development course, you may recognize the scene from the final tutorial. It's a simple VR scene containing a light, a 3D capsule, and an XR camera rig. Incidentally, if you are interested in getting started with Quest 2 development, I've dropped a link to my tutorial series in the description. Anyway, I think you'll agree that this grey 3D capsule looks rather boring. I want to replace it with something more interesting, so I'm going to search for a nice 3D model on the Unity Asset Store. Leave your Unity project open and open a web browser. Go to the Unity Asset Store homepage. This can be found at assetstore.unity.com. Now log into the Asset Store with the same account as you used to sign in to the Unity Hub. Once you are logged in, you can browse the store for a suitable asset. Since I'm looking for a 3D model that I can use in my Quest 2 project, I'm going to limit my search to Universal Render Pipeline items. I'm going to further narrow down my search by selecting the 3D category, and then the Props category. Let's also tick the Free Assets checkbox to exclude any items that require payment. The Sci-Fi Crate looks good, let's go for that. Okay, let's click Add to my assets. Accept the terms of service. Click on Go to my assets. Here you can see the list of assets acquired from the asset store. Finally, find the Sci-Fi Crate item and click Open in Unity. Provided you have a Unity project open, Windows should now switch focus to it. You will notice a new window has opened in Unity called the Package Manager. The Package Manager allows you to import various Unity packages into your project. These packages can contain anything from editor extensions, tools, or, as is in our case, assets from the Asset Store. You will notice that the Package Manager is currently listing packages under the category of My Assets. In fact, any assets that have been acquired through the Asset Store will always be listed under this category. You will notice that the Sci-Fi Crate is not only listed, but already selected and ready for download. So go ahead and click the Download button. Once the package has finished downloading, we can import it into our project. Click the Import button. A panel will appear listing all the assets that will be imported into your project as part of the package. If need be, you can exclude items from the import here by deselecting the relevant checkboxes. Let's proceed and click the import button. The import has finished, we can close the package manager. You will notice a new folder called slash asset stash has been imported into our project assets. Inside this, you will see a sci-fi crate folder. Open this folder and then open the prefabs folder within. You should now see the crate asset that we wish to use in our scene. But first, go to the hierarchy panel and delete the grey capsule. Finally, click on the crate asset and drag it into the scene hierarchy. And we're done! We now have an asset store asset imported into our project and in our scene. One last point. Once you have acquired or purchased an asset on the Asset Store, 
You personally can use the asset in any Unity projects that you create in the future. If you want to use something that you have previously acquired from the asset store, all you need to do is reopen the package manager. To do this, simply select Window from the top menu bar, then click on Package Manager. To view Asset Store packages, make sure you have the My Assets category selected.